Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Unless working with a table exclusively used for document layout, you should probably not delete individual cells in a table. If a table is used for data storage and organization, then the layout of information in the structure of whole columns and rows is critical to its functionality. In this case, if you literally remove a cell from the table, Word must shift the adjacent cells to fill in the gap you create in the table. This often causes data to shift from one column to another, or data in rows to shift from one row to another where it does not belong. This defeats the purpose of using the table for accurate data storage. When dealing with structured data tables, you can delete entire columns or rows of information if it is no longer needed but it is generally not advisable to delete only a cell or two from a table. However, you may need to delete only a cell or two from a layout table in Word. In this case, first select the cell or cells to delete. Then click the Delete button that appears in the Rows and Columns button group on the table's Layout contextual tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu, Select the Delete Cells command to open the Delete Cells dialog box. In this dialog box, you must choose what to delete. If you are deleting the selected cells, you must select either the Shift Cells Left or Shift Cells Up command to move the cells adjacent to the selected cells either to the left or up to fill in the gap you create. However, you can also select the Delete Entire Row or delete entire column choice to delete all the columns or rows that contain the selected cells. These commands, if selected, function the same way as choosing the Delete Columns or Delete Rows commands from the Delete Buttons drop-down menu. Therefore, these choices are safe choices for removing entire columns or rows from a structured table, too. It's just a different way of performing the same task. After making your selection, then click the OK button to perform the selected action. You may also need to delete an entire table from a Word document. To delete an entire table in Word, click into any cell in the table. Then click the Delete button in the Rows and Columns button group on the table's Layout Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the Delete Table command in the drop-down menu that appears to immediately delete the entire table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.